Um, we have to hear from our daughter. Yes. No, ma. Please come. Yes. Um, please call her for me. Oh, first of all, I'm sorry. Good evening, all. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening. Good evening. Good evening sir. Why are you calling? Thank you, sir. 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 Yeah, I'm going to go to the I'm Good. Um, he has come to ask for your hands in marriage. And he, he came along with some wine. Do we go ahead and receive it? Or what do you say? Yes, I receive it. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. Hi, Mama. I trust my daughter. And I know what she's up to. Okay, you can go in. You can go in. Okay, okay. okay. Thank you, my daughter. That is why I'm Thank you. Austin. Sir. You will have to go and come back another time. All right, sir. I will. You will come alone. Okay, okay, sir. I will. Yes, yes. you yes, will sir. have to come alone. All right, sir. Um, to meet with the family members. Okay, <laughs> no problem. It's, it's okay with uh, me. Thank you. If I heard you very well, do you mean no one should accompany him? Yes. That is our yeah. tradition. Exactly. He's he has right. to He's go. Right. right. That is our tradition. Okay. Yeah, he has to go and return alone to rob mines with the family members. Yes, oh, yes. Okay. Our, our tower. All right. Mm. Well, I like. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome. Is my eyes deceiving me? Another break of a game called Austin. It's not picking his calls. It's just not picking his calls. Call his friend. Hello. 
Doamne, Congrats, it's not me. So Austin is getting married. He made me believe he was going to marry me. He came to our house and did everything. No, 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 no. No, I don't have to come down. I will deal with him. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Going to the fine. Don't worry. Better people will come. Better people will come. Come down. Okay? Come down. What have I done? What have I done to deserve all this? I mean, you. Look at me. I'm all yours. I'm not wearing anything on that just to give you easy access. Okay, right. Let us not get carried away by this our wedding night. What we should be doing now is praying and committing this home into God's hands. Okay? Let us pray. Successfully, let us pray in Jesus' name. And in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We Father, we worship you. We thank you in the name of Jesus. We thank you because people that came for the wedding did not complain that they did not eat. We thank you because nobody went home. Everybody that came went home successfully. Father, we thank you. Be that glorified in the name of Jesus. At this point, let us pray and ask God that, that in any way that the devil want to penetrate into this home, that God should scatter such plans in the name of Jesus. Prayers in Jesus' name. Father. It's nice to get down. Please, let's feel each other before you go on this. My love, I am sorry about that, but I will surely make it up to you. Please don't start. Don't do this. I have an appointment I must meet up by 7 a.m. Hello, Pastor. Don't do this thing. Please. I am begging you. Pastor, please. You have to come to our house this morning. Yes, there is emergency. Yes, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Say that is what you want. You shall see them now. Don't go in and see.
Bro Richard, why have you neither touched nor consummated your marriage? I and my wife, your spiritual parents, have been married now for 20 years. And we have not had an issue, an iota of issue, as it has to do with sex. Prayers do not replace sex in marriage. I know it is possible that you are a virgin. But in as much as you have legally and traditionally married your wife, sexual intercourse is no longer a sin, my son. If you don't know how to do it, I am here to teach you. Feel free to ask me any question as it has to do with sex. Sister Endurance here is now yours and by the authority of heaven to hold, to love, to romance and to ravish as long as it is convenient for the both of you. Bro Richard, if there is any issue, please feel free to confide in me. No issue, Daddy. Thank you very much. I and my wife here, we shall do the needful. We shall endeavor that we heed your advice. We shall heed your counsel. Thank you very much. Sir. You're welcome. Um, in that case, we just have to pray before I go. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. our most righteous God in heaven, almighty and everlasting King of glory, ancient of the days, the Father of the Lord Jesus Christ, maker of every good thing, the almighty impassibility jinx breaker, the demystifier of every mystic and the mystery, the Lord that is continuously enshrouded Sweet, uninterruptible, one tone sex. Hmm? No, honey. Let's do a quick one so that when you come back, we can have nice time together. My love, what is this now? You are scaring me. How, how long will it take me to go and sort out this hotel where that we can't wait? What happened to the self-control that they've been teaching us in church now? What are you insinuating? Just that this it's not up to 24 hours that we got married. We have not sat down to discuss any reasonable thing apart from sex. Sex, 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 sex. Must we have sex immediately after our marriage? If we don't have this, if we don't have sex today, we the sex run away. Is there anything he is hiding from me? This is a lacuna of God's love. Marriage is honorable in all and bed undefiled. I have kept the bed undefiled all these years. Would I still stay away from the bed after marriage? Even if he does not want to have sex with me. Why won't you kiss me, hug me, caress me, or even give me a peg? I want to feel like a real woman. 
but my man is nothing but a shadow of a real man. Oh. See, I will see you when I come back, eh? Be good. I'm sorry, I will not allow you to go out today. What's this now? I will make noise about this until neighbors hear my voice. Third party must come for my rescue today. How long will it take me to sort this paper and come back now? This is stupidity and not spirituality anymore. Please. It will not take time. Let me go and sort this bill and I will come back. If you step out of this place, I will do the unimaginable. Baby, I'm coming. Lay down here. Bring out this thing. What's this now? Bring, bring out this thing and perform your conjugal duty. What's, what are you particular about this, this sex thing now? Um, you can't be more Catholic than the Pope. With you and this sex, sex, sex thing, I am coming. Let me do the go and come back now. For crying out loud, I am your wife. My love, this is the handwork of the devil. Though. You are crying. It's okay. It's okay. Stop crying. Let me tell you the reason why I've not had sex with you since yesterday. Don't tell me. I don't listen. Listen, my love. I did not marry you because of sex. I married you because I love you. Let love be the basis of our marriage. See, don't push it too hard if you don't know the reason why I'm refusing you sex. I know that by now so many things should be running through your mind like if I am impotent or if I am over spiritual. But the truth is that I am not impotent. Neither am I over spiritual. You remember the last time we traveled to your village? We went to see your parents. Remember I had a very long meeting with your father and the kinsmen. When I even came out, you were like asking me why did we spend so much time. You also remember that after then, I had another meeting that lasted with your father for about 30 minutes. Yes, I remember everything you mentioned. But what has that to do with you not performing your conjugal obligation? If you're not important, prove it now. The only language I understand now is sex, 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 and nothing but sex. What I expect you to do is remove my prayer, my mind, and make me feel like a woman. Jesus, my love. I didn't marry you to tell me stories. Don't make me believe you're an unbeliever. Or have you been pretending all this why? But the pretender here. You deceived me out of my parents' house. Just to push me. <laughs> my love. Like I told you, I am not impotent. Please. I think you have decided to make me unhappy on my supposed honeymoon. But I will not allow that. I'll go out there and find happiness myself. Defraud not one another. You have defrauded me. My love. 
God will pay you back all you have done to me.